welcome to the bird podcast i'm shobha narayan you know for a long time even after i had been birding for many years i used to hear this word wetlands and they were talked about as the most diverse and important ecosystem i mean all ecosystems are important but wetlands were considered the most diverse and i never understood this because when i thought of wetlands i thought of swamps bogs marshes uh, tidal flats you know just standing water with insects around it but that is the reason wetlands are so important because they nurture a wide variety of life now what is a wetland a wetland is defined by two or three things one is the presence of hydrophytes or aquatic plants um the most so a beautiful one in my opinion is the water lily and but you also have sedges you have reeds um and these aquatic plants are different from normal plants because they are able to grow in an anoxic environment or an oxygen less environment the second characteristic of a wetland is the presence of hydric soil hydric soil is simply soil that is um underwater for more a long prolonged periods of time and therefore the top layer becomes oxygenless and therefore these very particular type of hydrophytes or aquatic plants grow but in episode 5 of the bird podcast where i interviewed dr jerry jackson he came up with a much simpler definition of a wetland and he said wetland wetlands are wet land they are not ponds they are not lakes they are just land that becomes wet because of seasonal rains for long periods of times and these wetlands are considered so important that the ramsar which is an organization that works on wetlands of international importance has certain definitions for example water the water levels should be under 6 meters so you can basically walk uh, in through a wetland um but the beauty of wetlands is that they typically occur in every continent except one can you guess what that is um which continent cannot get wet um because it freezes over so yes wetlands occur everywhere except in antarctica um some of them are giant the largest wetland in the world is the amazon river basin um the western siberian plain is also very large and the pantanal in brazil um uh, is huge um the fourth one is the sundarbans in india um at the ganga brahmaputra basin now the sundarbans are known for their mangroves and their very specific vegetation um the ramsar site uh, is very fun to go through if you want to learn about wetlands because there are many kinds of wetlands you have this salt water fresh water brackish water and water where the fresh water meets the salt water which is in tidal estuaries and then they also classify wetlands based on the kinds of birds and insects that flourish there internal wetlands coastal wetlands things like that now one of the wetlands that i'm going to talk about in another episode also came from episode 5 of jerry jackson and you really should listen to his whole episode because he covers a whole um a spectrum of things ranging from um anhingas to woodpeckers um to the wood stork and the ecology of wetlands so what happens in wetlands is that typically um they get dry as during the tropical season there's usually a wet season and a dry season and in the dry season the water recedes it gets dry and therefore the insect population comes in they lay their eggs the larvae they they grow and then they become populous and then the rains come in and the rains also link to water bodies nearby so that the fishes from the water bodies start swimming in which is what attracts these bird species called waders which are wading birds that enjoy the wetlands because they can walk around and eat the fish other waders also include egrets herons any uh, bird that you see standing on water um so waders are characterized by sort of stilt like legs and the fact that they depend on wetlands uh, for their health for their nesting for their fledglings and things like that so what is the takeaway here the takeaway is that i think we need to change our minds about wetlands we need to stop thinking about them as infest laden bodies of water um where you know sherlock holmes movies all the the villains of all these movies are running through these bogs and marshes 
we need to start thinking about them as necessary to preserve. Now in episode uh, five, when I interviewed um, Dr. Jerry Jackson, I, le uh, I learned one interesting thing is that he is based in Florida and um, the United States had 36 wetlands and India had 26. And this happened in June of 2017 when I interviewed him. Today, when I uh, looked it up just before the episode, and this is September 2022, the United States has 41 wetlands, whereas India has 64. Um, so we really raced ahead um, of the United States. China too has 64 wetlands. Now this is a good thing because it means that the two countries are taking wetlands seriously and preserving them, which is fantastic for migrating birds and waders. So let's think positively about wetlands. Bird Podcast is produced by Ullas Anand and Echo Edu. I'm Shobha Narayan. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching.